we are going to connect our home page with our create party page. For that, first we are going to create a button to take us to add a new party. We are going to use one of Ionix components called IonFab. This is going to create a floating action button in the bottom right corner of the screen. When I save and the page reloads, you can see that that button is here. Now we are going to give that button navigation functionality. For that, Angular has a router link property, which we can set to the URL we are going to navigate. In this case, it would be create party, and we are going to pass the ID of new, since this is when we are going to create a new party. Now, when I click the button, you see that it takes me to the create page. One thing we can also do here is to add a back button to our toolbar. For that, we are going to open our create party view. And in there, you're going to go into the toolbar. And in there, we are going to add the ion back button. When we reload the page, you cannot see it on the toolbar because we just reloaded. So there is no page to go back to. This is a root page right now. To avoid this from happening, I am back button has a handy property called default href. We're going to set it to our root page. And now that we save, you can see that it added a back button for us. And it has all of the functionality provided by Ionic. So when I click it, it's taking me back to the event list. The other thing we need to do is to let our application know when we click on one of the events to take us to that event edit page. For that, we are going to go back to our home page and inside of the class file, we're going to see that in the data we have, we regularly don't have the ID, but we can get that ID from the snapshot. We are going to go into the snapshot function and we are going to refactor a little our map function. For that, in here, we are going to wrap this in curly braces. And whenever we wrap an arrow function in curly braces, we are removing the implicit return. So we have to add it ourselves. Now we are going to create the object we are going to return. In our case, it would be current party is equals to the dot data. Then we can say that the current party ID is equals to document dot ID. You can see it's giving us an error that the property ID does not exist on type party. To fix that, we are going to go into our party interface. You can do command click on Mac or control click on Windows. And you're going to add the ID property here as a string. Now that you see that that error is gone. And let's not forget that now we are returning current party. This is the same data that we had in the object, but we are adding the ID from the document snapshot. Now, when we click save, it's reloading the page. And if right here we log current party, you are going to see that it's now adding the ID property. We can remove that log from here. We can save it again. And now we can go back to our homepage view and we can tell our view that whenever we click on one of these ion items, we want to navigate to the create party page for that specific item. To do that, we can use the router link like we used it below. And we are going to pass the create party route. And in the ID, we are going to pass a variable. This is going to be the party.id. When we save the application and reload the page, You'll notice that now, whenever I click in one of the IDs, it's going to take me to that Paris detail page. 